Welcome back to the morning show. Before we uh, continue on with Martin J. Smith here, uh, big thanks to Grand Lake Chamber of Commerce, right on the edge, the western edge of the Rocky Mountain National Park. We're, on, we're talking osprey, we're talking nature's beauty, and so Grand Lake, it doesn't get much more beautiful. Um, check them out there at grandlakechamber.com. Uh, once again, we're hanging out with Martin J. Smith. We're talking, uh, that was a pretty incredible trailer, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I found that hilarious, too. I'd be pretty interested. You, you <laughs> loosely compared it to Best in Show, which is uh, one of my favorite movies. I'm a big Christopher Guest <laughs> fan. And, uh, and just the quirkiness and the uh, zany drive that these people have to, to try and accomplish this goal. And you can see it's right in, right in there as well. Uh, yep. so. One of the things, I mean, it's every writer's dream to have a filmmaker like Brian Golden Davis, who did this film, totally get your book, totally get the, the tone of the book, and to actually execute it on film, it was just a real, real privilege. And uh, your website, martinjsmith.com. Mm -hmm. So you can go on the website and you can get access to uh, you know, all your novels, the movie as well, do you? Yes, those are all available through Amazon and all the big you know, uh, e-tailers, you can get them anywhere. So. So, uh, you know, we do have a pretty large uh, chapter of the Ducks Unlimited here. So just going into more of the, I know the trailer even brought up some of the issues that they're facing with de declining hunters. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they're kind of losing some, not interest in the stamp. A lot of hunters don't even know about the stamp, but you know, in the hunting world, conservation is incredibly important. Oh, absolutely. And so what are some challenges you, you might see? That, I well, don't know if the documentary would address them all, but uh, it definitely touches on some. One of the biggest challenges is just simply awareness. Uh, this is a small $850,000 a year federal program that reliably brings in $25 million every year, and yet very few people know about it. Um, and in an era when we're talking about downsizing government and eliminating whole departments, mm -hmm. um, the Interior Department is vulnerable. When I was writing the book in 2010, that was the year a lot of Interior Department resources, fish and wildlife resources, were going to the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, the Deepwater Horizon yep. oil spill. Um, you know, it could be eliminated with the stroke of a pen. That money could be moved away. And, and when you say 850000 I mean, that is a pen. I mean, that's just a drop. That's of nothing. It's nothing, yeah. yeah. And it's run by one person at this point. When I was writing the book, it was a staff of three. Now it's a staff of one. Uh, as the number of hunters declines, the number of money coming in declines. Uh, it's a program that's very vulnerable, and, and yet it does such enormous good. I think raising awareness of it is, is a good thing. Especially for those of us that maybe don't hunt, but still have a huge appreciation for nature and uh, conservancy that mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people didn't even know this existed. I, I'd be one of them. You know, the, the duck stamp, I'd always heard of the duck stamp, but I really didn't know what its purpose was or about the... That's been one of the fun parts of this is, is seeing that awareness grow. Um, in fact, Audubon magazine, uh, birders and hunters tend not to associate with one another, and yet Audubon magazine put a cover story uh, in about a year ago on the duck stamp program uh, as a way of uh, alerting birders to the fact that, hey, we benefit from this too. Mm -hmm. so. And that, yeah, hunters are looking out for cons conservation, not just, not just shooting all the birds out of the air. Absolutely. Know, right? There's a lot more to it uh, yep. from both sides there. Well, it's been great talking to you, Martin. Uh, let's, uh, the memory series, we got that. Uh, so from the fictional standpoint, we got the memory series and the, as well as your, your newest book, Combustion. So mm -hmm. definitely check those out. I'm excited. Uh, you got me pretty excited to read both that and I'm really excited about this, uh, The Wild Duck Chase. Great. So I'll definitely spend a little time with that one coming up soon here. Thanks for having but, me But uh, this new book you're talking about, we're pretty excited uh, <laughs> to hear, see where that goes, especially since it's uh, loosely inspired by a Grand County, you know, Grand <laughs> County itself here. So uh, we'll love to have you back on the show sometime and. Uh, Thanks so get you much. back to talk about uh, your newest projects and endeavors. So. Really enjoyed it. Thank well, th you. Yeah, thanks again, Martin. And uh, enjoy, enjoy spring and uh, the soon-to-be summer here in Grand County. It's a beautiful time. So, With that, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to go find out what's hot. So stick around. Uh, in a little bit, we're going to slip over to Powder Tools and, uh, and see what Jay's got for us. So we'll see you in a moment.